Hi everybody, this is Jan Gustafsson, and I'm facing a very tough challenge today. I've been challenged by the young German Grandmaster Niklas Huschenbeet from my city, from Hamburg, to play a match of Banter Blitz, two games where we're going to be playing each other and commentating what's going on. I have a bit of a history with Niklas. He beat me in the German Championship, I believe in 2012, beat me quite badly, thus ruining my title chances. And he's going to be a very, very tough opponent. He's very, very dangerous. But of course, I am high rated and I hope I'm not too old to compete with the young guys nowadays. So let's go to the Chess24 play zone and accept his challenge. Here we go. Let's see if this is working. I'm getting the white pieces in the first game. Not sure, Niklas, he just published a series on the Nimzo Indian, so I'll play one knight f3, which I like to do against Nimzo guys. He goes for the move c5, inviting the Sicilian, but I'm not an e4 player, so I'll play c4, and we're in the territory of the English defense. Not sure what he likes to do here, knight c6 or knight f6 are the main moves. He goes knight c6, I'll play knight c3, when you could go knight f6 again, or g6 is a move, many options. He plays g6. I'll play e3, g3 is the other main line, e3 planning to go d4, bishop g7 is supposed to be wrong now, and yeah, he goes knight f6, and normally after d4 you take and then play d5, and it looks like this is what's about to happen. Why does a bunch of options here, takes and then either bishop c4 or queen b3, I'm not quite sure which one I fancy, I think I'll play bishop c4 or queen b3, black has been doing alright recently. And let's see what he does. can either take on c3 or play knight b6, both legal moves. <clears> he <throat> plays knight b6. The normal move is bishop b3 here. I'll try to surprise him and play queen b3. Probably not a very good move, but he is very theoretical and I'll try to get him out of book. I believe it's a move I once looked at and in honesty <laughs> concluded it wasn't that good. <laughs> let's see how he reacts. For now I'm threatening to take on f7. So he should take my bishop on c4, I believe, and most likely that's what he is going to do. Let's see how it goes. At least he's thinking, so I did get him out of book, which is always good news. Because he's quite booked up, that guy. So knight c4, queen c4, bishop g7, yeah, I believe that's correct play. I'll play d5 if I get the chance and see how it goes. I don't think white has anything here after knight a5 or even knight e5. But at least it's kind of a fresh position. I must admit, I don't really know it that well either. Knight a5, I'll probably go queen h4 and allow him to take this pawn on d5 and pretend that I'll get some compensation. Not sure I will. We'll see how it goes. Knight e5, on the other hand, I can take and then play a move like bishop f4 and probably get a slightly more pleasant position. He goes knight e5. I'll take it and go here and see what happens. <clears throat> Not sure I should have rushed with bishop f4, now that I think about it, maybe it made sense to play castles first. Anyway, he takes and castles, I'll castle as well. And I think I have a slight advantage, because my pawn on d5 is cramping him, his king is a little bit weak, expecting him to go queen b6, when I'm going to have to think what I want to do about the b2 pawn, if anything at all. He starts with bishop f5, put a rook on e1, I think, which looks useful, just tying him down a bit to his <coughs> e7 pawn. Now, how do we make progress? Rook d1 looks very natural. I think I'll start with that. I'm already dreaming of some queen h6, rook d4, rook h4, but I'm not sure I'm in time yet. Anyway, it's quite a pleasant position, so I can't complain too much about the outcome of the opening. I'm thinking if I should go h3 to hint at g4 as well. <coughs> Yeah, let's play h3 and see what happens. Not so easy for him to come up with a good move at the moment. e6, I just take. So he could be <clears throat> under some pressure here, expecting a move like queen d6. He goes h5, interesting as well. <clears throat> Stopping g4 and also my other devious plan of queen h6, rook d4. So what can I do? Position looks very pleasant. I just wish I was a better player. I think I'll start with rook to e3, hinting at rook e1 and at rook g3. 
Maybe I have some ideas with queen h6, rook g3 still. Not sure I'm playing this optimally, but I still like my position. If he goes king h7, which looks like a natural move, I can maybe play queen h4 to attack his e7 pawn. And once again, play g4. And of course, the most important thing, as usual, is that I'm ahead on the clock. Problem is we're playing four minutes plus two seconds. So he does have plenty of time to think. He goes queen d6, which makes a lot of sense. Decision time once again. <clears throat> Could go to d4, h4, g5, h6. So many options. If I go to g5, he's probably going to play queen f6 when I could go for a pleasant ending. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'll go queen h4 and then after queen f6 I'm going to have a hopefully pleasant choice between taking on f6 or playing queen b4. And I'll take it from there. Not sure, queen h6 also looked tempting. It's tough, so many choices in chess. Goes rook e8. And this is a bit of a provocation for me to go g4. Can I go g4? Takes, takes, queen f4. <clears throat> that looks <clears throat> not clear enough. What am I missing? Takes, takes, queen f4. No, there's nothing yet. It's a nice position, but it's hard to improve it somehow. <clears throat> Can't spot anything better than rook e1. I'm not sure I like that move. Now I can play e6. <clears throat> no, I haven't played this well. I think I'm still better because after e6 I might have g4. <clears throat> Time to think a bit. e6, g4 and still this queen f4 which is annoying. Uh, goes rook d7 instead. <clears throat> I really want to play g4. It's a pity I can't. <clears throat> So I'll switch sides, go queen d4. Once again, I'm intending to play g4 and pick up his bishop, and I'm pretending that I want to take on a7. So in case he plays a6, now I think I can go g4, and his bishop looks very short on squares. Let's see what he comes up with. <clears throat> Haven't played this ideally, but I still like my position. Calculating if he can play a move like rook c8, but nothing really stops g4. So it is unpleasant for him if he has to go for a desperate move like g5. There should be a way to punish him, something like rook e5 or rook g3, probably rook e5. And if everything goes wrong, I can always take on a7 and be a pawn up. So I like my chances, and he's also taking his time. He came up with bishop e6, curious move. Didn't see that one coming. <clears throat> How do we punish it? It's tempting to go rook e6, but then he does have pawn takes, rook takes, and queen takes e6. So that's not the solution. <clears throat> Must be a forced win here. Whom are you kidding, Mr. Huschenbit? <clears throat> I could just go rook e5 and maintain the status quo. Yeah, since I can't spot anything better and I don't want to think too long, I'll play that. Now I'm threatening, at the very least, something like queen e3. <clears throat> or still queen takes a7. Still a bit annoyed I couldn't find a forced win. Goes rook d8. <clears throat> Where's the punishment? Ugh. I wish I was a stronger player. That's really what it comes down to. I'm sure this is an easy win for me. If I could calculate. <clears throat> But I can't, so I should make moves. This is a bad move. I should have gone for something better. He has to play bishop f5, and he does. I'll be humble and go back and play queen e3. Still a very good position, but I'm annoyed I didn't manage to punish him. But that's not how you should think in chess. You should always think about the position currently on the board. So I will try to do that. Play queen g5 once again, hinting at g4 and stopping e d5 because then I would have had some trick queen e7, but now 
little trick I might be able to spot. Rook takes f5 is winning material as far as I can see. So let's do that. Hope I didn't blunder, but no, it doesn't look like e takes. I'm picking up the queen. G takes not legal. So I won that game. It earned me the bet. GM killer. First GM I beat in the chess 24 play zone. We'll give him a rematch and give him a chance to play with white. See how that one goes. Let's see how this works. <coughs> Challenges. I'll just wait for him to challenge me. I'm a lazy guy. I'll enjoy my coffee and wait for the rematch challenge. <coughs> Yeah, all in all, I got, got him under serious pressure out of the opening because yeah, he didn't know this queen b3 idea, which is not a great move, but it turned out to be quite annoying for a blitz game. I believe the critical move was knight a5 instead of knight e5 out of the opening. And after that, he got under serious pressure. I'm sure I missed some better continuations, but I did manage to <coughs> win in the end. So let's see how I can challenge this guy. He doesn't seem to feel like challenging me again. Maybe I broke his spirit, which of course is always the goal when you're playing chess and he doesn't feel like playing another game. <clears throat> I will issue this, the challenge four minutes and two seconds. There we see Niklas' profile on the screen, or I'm not sure what we see, just an extension. Let's go full screen until we, ah, oh, there he is, until he hopefully accepts my <clears throat> rematch request. I'm just trying to be reasonable here. Give him a chance with the white pieces, which he used last time to very good effect to crush me. It looks like, I'm not sure, he, I think he's also recording a video on this. Probably he's trying to justify what happened in the last one. Oh no, and here we go. Start the challenge. Let's see what's happening. Here we are. He plays one e4 as he tends to. I'll play e5 as I tend to where he has horribly crushed me in the past and I am worried. Looks like he's using the line he used back then, the Evans Gambit, <clears throat> which he used this line to beat me and you always think that by now I've fixed it and know all the details, but frankly, I've never really looked at it since because no one ever plays it. So <clears throat> he plays bishop d3, last time he played bishop e2 and I'm not all that versed in the theory here d6 takes, I'm guessing I'm supposed to take back. Really don't know much, which is a bit embarrassing because as they say, you can trick me once and it's your fault, you trick me twice and it's my fault and he's certainly tricked me twice here. However, the game is not really over yet. The fact that I don't have a clue doesn't mean that I have to instantly resign. Not quite sure what to do. I'll try to ask this knight what it's up to by playing knight d7. Because my one problem is the knight on a5, which I want to get back into the game, probably to c6, maybe to c4 in an ideal world. He retreats with knight f3, so I'll pretend like I had a plan and I'll go knight to c5. Not sure if this regroupment helped my chances all that much. But what are you going to do? You've got to make moves. Bishop e2, I'll play bishop e6. Keeping an eye on that c4 square, I don't think he's going to allow me to put anything there. Can play rook d1, hitting my queen. Slightly annoying, but I'll live. I'll probably play queen to e8 and then intending queen a4 or queen c6. But I have to be a bit careful that my pieces don't end up being too clumsy here. He plays knight d2 immediately instead, which also makes a lot of sense. Time for me to come up with some sort of idea. I think I'll play queen d7 if I can. Let's hope I can. <clears throat> Intending to play queen a4, and if he doesn't allow me to do that, maybe I'll put another rook on d8. One problem I have is he can always go knight d4, harassing my beloved bishop on e6. Goes knight e5 instead, that's a bit of a surprise. Can't I go queen a4 like I was playing to? I will, and see what happens. I don't think knight e5 was a good move on his part. I think he should have gone knight d4. Now I feel like I might be doing all right, which is as positive a statement as you're going to get from me. He goes queen b1, correctly so. He's trying to keep the queens on the board. I'll just put a rook on the open file. How bad can that be? Oh my god, did I just blunder my queen? 
I might have just blundered my queen, ladies and gentlemen. Bishop b5. That's embarrassing. <coughs> that really is embarrassing. Let's hope he misses it, but I doubt it. Wow. <coughs> All this talking about a nice position. <coughs> I'm not sure if we can, can publish this video, but I think, yeah, we might have to. And he missed it. Why not bishop b5? Am I going nuts? What did I miss? Now at least I have a square, even though it's not pretty on e8. <coughs> I'll harass him in, in chat. Grandmaster, Grandmaster play, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> that is embarrassing, but yeah, can't think too much about what happened. Back to the position at hand. He plays f4. I'll play f6 <clears throat> to chase his knight back. And he goes knight ef3. <clears throat> Still feel like I have a decent position, but it is a bit dangerous. I'll play knight c4, he can go knight d4, and then I would have to go bishop f7. It's a bit uncomfortable, but not the end of the world. But yeah. Somehow this video is a bit spoiled by me blundering my queen on move 16 and him not taking it. But what are you gonna do? Probably he trusted me being the strong grandmaster I am, that <laughs> I would not just give up my queen, which I did. Goes knight b3, feels time to, for me to jump somewhere. Knight d3 looks tempting, but then he could go knight to d4. <clears throat> this knight d4 is a bit uncomfortable all the time. Knight a4 is also a move that comes to mind. Not quite sure what it gets me though, queen to c2. Still I'll play it because it, at least it attacks something. And I might be tempted to play if I get the chance c5 next move, just because this d4 square really is key here. I'm a bit worried now that he goes knight bd4 when I can take on c3, but it all looks a little awkward. He played queen c2, which makes sense. And do I want to play c5? What other options do I have? I could go knight a3 to attack that queen. Bishop takes, bishop takes. Then knight to d4 attacks my knight on a4, knight c5. I'm not sure if this is any good. c5 is also a bit of an awkward move to make. Choices. I'll play c5 just to take this d4 square under control. Can't say I'm playing all that great. Still a bit rattled by that intermediate queen blunder, <clears throat> which you shouldn't be, but we're all humans. So sometimes it's hard to shake off what happened a couple moves ago. f5, bishop f7. I believe I'm kind of all right, but clearly so is he. He's getting his pieces into the game now. My queen on e8 doesn't look all that impressive, so I'll try to get it out there, put it on c6. He can go e5, which I would probably take, take, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, with a roughly balanced position. I don't think I'm in trouble. He goes e5, which makes sense. I'll take it, and he's gonna take with a knight, or I'd be very surprised when, yeah, I have to take as well. Bishop takes, and then I have to think for a little bit what I want to do next. My knight on a4, oh, he doesn't take. He goes bishop takes c4. What's his point? If bishop takes c4, he wants to go knight takes e5. But if I go b takes c4, knight e5 and I take on b3, oh, then he wants to take back with a pawn. Can you really do that? <clears throat> Time to think a little bit. I'm playing slowly in this game, which is another bad sign. Still don't think I'm in trouble. I have all kinds of options. The simplest one, bishop c4, knight e5, and queen somewhere. But I'm intrigued by this bc4. Knight e5 takes, pawn takes. No, it seems to work for him, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to take with the bishop. Knight takes e5, and I'll go somewhere with my queen. <clears throat> Shouldn't play so slowly. Speed up. Okay, I'll go here. 
No time for subtleties anymore. And anyway, I blundered my queen trying to play well. Now I'll play badly and fast. New approach to the game. A pre-move b takes c4, which I'm expect knight takes c4, I'm expecting him to play. And take it from there. But I only have 27 seconds left, so it is really time to speed up. Else about the position, what can we say? He went knight a5, which I don't understand, so I'll take on f1. He also doesn't seem to be in prime shape between you and me. He's blundering quite a bit, but I don't have time to explain you all the details. <laughs> Just, yeah, we're both playing badly, and I'm hoping I'm going to win anyway. I'm in exchange up now, but I am very, very low on the clock. I just played c4 to go bishop c5 check, maybe create an outpost on d3, but I can't go there yet, so I'll put this rook on e8 to calculate for a second. Now knight d7, I have queen f5, so I should have a pretty decent position here, but it ain't over by any means, especially given my time situation. Expecting him to play a move like g4, Plays bishop g3 instead, also makes sense. Yeah, a bit dangerously low on time. Can I go here? Don't think I can. Any move, terrible move, blundering knight d7, high level chess. With knight d7, I have queen takes c6. <clears throat> now I have a good position, but I really gotta speed up. The good thing is we do get two seconds increment per move. You're gonna have to forgive me if I turn a little more quiet shortly while I'm trying to make moves. <clears throat> Once again, I keep blundering this knight d7, but <clears throat> what are you gonna do? It's just an exchange, it's still equal material. I'm a pawn up, I'm doing all right. <clears throat> Bishop e5, whatever, queen c2. Now at least I have a check on f2 to save me if I'm not getting mated before that. Still looks like I'm doing all right and he's running very low on time. I'm sure he wants to play f6 <clears throat> then what can I do? Knight takes e5, fg7. Knight plays h3, which is a friendlier move. I'll give this check and take this pawn. Now I'm in very decent shape, threatening knight g4 check. Once again, we are down to the blitz phase. <clears throat> Fortunately, it's not small that made this time queen g8. I can take, should still take some care of not blundering mate in one. But I believe queen f7 here, for example, looks pretty solid for me. Winning position, ladies and gentlemen. But the excitement, I'm not sure I can handle the excitement. Queen d7, bishop c5. <clears throat> and this looks like a good exchange for me. I'm expecting him to resign because we are playing with two seconds increment. And he did resign. Pretty horrible game. I'm not quite sure we can publish that for our viewers. But you know me, I'm always happy. If I win a game, no matter if I blundered my queen on move 16, what else I blundered, don't analyze this game with a computer. The important thing is I won the match 2-0. The bragging rights are mine. Niklas, you have a lot of studying to do. I crushed you. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed the show. Bye everybody.